sorry, the first part got deleted by accident. Here's our block called Nonsense. Now let's grab our material and let's get to whacking and tacking. Okay, I'm going to pull from the what we've already done started on. We need a strip, so I'm going to take the strip that I used, uh, got yesterday, and we'll use it. Now, from the looks of it in the middle, we have a block. So, and I do not have any blocks over there. So, we are going to cast one. So, I'm going to get my six and a half, and we're going to whack it. I should have went on up with that to get rid of that right there. I think if the fibers, the way the fibers are in this material, is why it's not cutting. Because it cuts cotton just fine. And then we have little, there's little fibers in this material. Okay, so we have that to start with. Now, from the looks of it, we have to have another block. So we are going to make another block out of this one. Uh, let's see. Do I have a smaller piece here? Yeah, let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. Because we don't care about what the colors <clears throat> look like. At least I don't. Because once you put it, it doesn't matter if you put ugly colors together. When you make a quilt, they turn out beautiful. So, I'm going to say that we need about four blocks. So we are going to cut this one out in four blocks. Got to open it. We'll throw that one over there for later. Alright, it's cutting good right now. And it did good. Yay! Okay. Now with these blocks, <coughs> from the looks of it, I need to cut, we'll take two of them out, and cut two of them in half. So that's what we're going to do. Cut it in half. Alrighty. Now then, let's see how we got it here. We have got our one block here. Alright. Then we have, doop, let's see if that'll work. If I trim this off, then we'll have it. So let me trim this bad side off of this. I don't go and look it up on the internet. I look at the block and I make it from the block, from what I see. So I don't go through all this fan dingle stuff that they have, which it, I have no problem with it, don't get me wrong. So, and I've got a salvage edge here, I want to get rid of that. So I'm essentially cutting it down to six by six. All right. So now then, I could take half of one of these, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our drawing board. And we're going to cut two of these down. Hopefully, if I can get them lined back up there. Okay, that works for me. So we're going to cut this bad baby in half. All right. Now then, we have this, our block, which will go right there. Then we have that one, and that one, that one, and that one. Now then, from here, we have, um, what did I do? There it is. My, we have stripes on it. Which will go on this side, this side, this side, and this side. But they are not um, fully all the way from, you see we have a, 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 a triangle in there. I'll spit it out in a minute. A triangle in there and a triangle here. So, let, let's take and sew these together, and then we'll get the measurement from there to see what we need to cut these down to. Okay, I have it sewn together, and I iron it. Now we have our little dog ears that we need to trim off. So we're going to line it up, and we're going to take off our little dog ears. Trim it up a little bit. You know, when I first started quilting, I was like, well, what does it matter? I don't think it really matters. But once I started really getting my own room and all, and I started going into it better and all, it, it seemed like it does matter. These little things that you do, do matter, like trimming up and ironing. It does make it look a whole lot better. So, you can tell which one lines I use a lot. Okay, so now we got this trimmed down. So our block is eight, and of course eight. So now we want to cut our strips, and we need four of them. So we are going to cut down to where we have two eighths. I meant four eighths. So we're going to line this up pretty. And the first thing I'm going to do is line it up and we're going to whack one end off so we have an opening now then we're going to take it from here from the eight down to the one and i'm going to whack it from here There we go. So now we have this, which will go right here on each end of our block. Now let's take a gander at our picture again. So now we need a triangle. To go right here. So we need four triangles. And I would say, ooh, look, we have these 
from yesterday where we made a boo-boo. Look at there. I am happy with this and it matches the middle. So mistakes do add up after a while and we can always use them. Especially when you do quilts like this. So, <coughs> I'm going to take these to the sewing machine and I am going to sew one on each one to where we can sew them down. So when I get that done and iron, I'll be back. Alrighty. I have them sewed and ironed. Now, what we need to do, and I'm going to separate this out, we're going to turn this one this way, and we're going to pin it down. Now, when I get right here to my last pin, I'm going to quit sewing, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and put this one on. Let's see, no, it would be, yeah, be this one. I'm going to go ahead and sew all the way down on it too until I get to this pin. And then I'm going to quit sewing it. And I'm going to do this all the way around. And the reason why is because we haven't had this one sewed on yet. And so we can have our seam allowance and give it our, the room that we need. So, I'm going to get this done. And then, I'll be... Okay, I figured I'd try to show you what I'm talking about. We're going to start at this end, <clears throat> and we're going to sew, not going over our pins. And I will stop right here at this pin, and I'm going to pull it out, and then I'm going to turn this one back, and I'm going to sew this one down. Till I get to my pin, and I'm going to stop, now, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to this one, I'm going to reach over here at my ironing board, and I am going to iron this one down, now I'm going to take it, and I'm going to lay it on top of it. I'm going to go back a few stitches. About 15. <laughs> I'll give it a good one. And then I'm going to sew it all the way out. Now therefore, I'm going to reach back over here. And I'm going to take my iron to that corner. And I'm going to lay it out. So you can see what I'm talking about. You see how that went, how it went in there? So I'm going to do all of them that way. All four corners. Alrighty. We got this part done. Now, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy. And I've already ironed it. Now, from the look of the picture, it goes like this. So we need triangles to go up here. And I say, let's check these out. Well, how hunky-dory. Looky there. So I need to cut one more of these down well, to a triangle. So we are going to line that up down through there and we are going to give it a whack. 
smell good. All right. So here we are back at it again. And I want my pretty side up. My pretty side up. And there is our block. So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to sew it to the, on the sewing machine. I'm going to tack it. I whacked it. Now I'm going to tack it. And then I'll show you a picture of it when I get done.